Hello everybody, you're watching Channel 1, where in this video I'm going to show you how to change the airbag suspension on a Citroen C4. Hope you enjoy folks. Well folks, here we go again. That is considerably lower than it ought to be. Oh yes. It looks like I've got a leak in the air suspension. left side looks lower than the right, so I'm guessing that, that is where the problem lies. Let's just hit the button. Now the problem with this is, if the loop gets too bad, the compressor runs continuously while you're driving causes it to overheat and burn out. So it's something I need to deal with fairly quickly. Right, so just to see if I can find out where the leak is coming from. In here I have some washing up liquid and water and I'm just going to the suspension as high as I can okay <coughs> oh, I can't actually see what I wanted to see <laughs> I can't see the end of the side anyway. I was hoping I might get some bubbles. Nothing really noticeable there, because what you do get is up inside the groove there, um, you get a bit of dirt and debris gets stuck that wears away at the bag, and that's what causes the leak. Let me try the other side. Oh. Well, this looks to be a problem. Something is definitely not right here. Gives me something to look at. Right, so as you can see now, I got the car up on a jack. Gonna have a look at this side. Oh, and straight away, I don't know whether you can see that. A split. Oh, well, isn't very good here. Right, where is it looking? Ah, there, right, so as you can see there, a split in the airbag. And you see, all those millions of little bubbles come in. That's a gunner. 
Yeah. Well, that was a nice and easy confirmation, at least. But it does mean... I now need to work out how the heck you change airbags. Now, here you can see that right-hand airbag and how it is displaced. Um, I've put some lines on here uh, to show you the sort of angle it is at. Um, and this top cap here uh, of the airbag, circled in red, um, should fit in this pocket circled in yellow here. So you can see it is uh, quite a way out. Uh, and I've got an image here of the left hand side to show you how straight that should be and how it should fit. Um, so I think that is what has caused the problem here. And this is what I ordered to fix my car uh, off eBay. So as you can see, not too bad. Comparable price to a, a pair of springs on your average family car. So I have bought these off eBay. Which certainly look very similar. I will post a... Uh, where I got them from online, they were only about £45 um, let's see if they work or not now this for me is going to be the scariest part of it all because there's a lot of air pressure built up in this shock or this spring <coughs> which you need to release by undoing this You should just have a little tab there to push in and then pop this out and I can't actually feel it on this one So I'll give it a little clean to try and see what's going on and I can't actually see what I want so I'm just going to try and undo Nut, which is very difficult with one hand. Oh, well, it's not very tight. Let me do this. Oh, but that's what I'm going to try and do that nut bit. Right, you can hear there, the air is now slowly being released. I'm going to do it a little bit more, just trying to get it out a bit faster, but uh, that is obviously the first thing you need to do, is get this pipe off the car. This, it looks like an aftermarket one, because they don't generally have this type of fitting. So we just push in as a <coughs> as per the replacement one you've just got this tab which you should be able to push in but I will show you that in a sec right and that is what I have um, yes not what I was expecting but we'll deal with that in a sec but the airbag should now, as you see, oh, and the whole thing has actually come loose, as I expected. Um, but in general, what you want to do is try and get the bottom out. Oh, the whole thing has now come out. Where you can see the split, where it's been rubbing on the body of the car. Which I think, yes, one of these clips that hold this bag into the car has broke, which has caused it to move, and that is what has caused that 
to up and fail. So I'm now left with this. Uh, oh, hang on, right. Oh, here we go. Can I get that off? Right, I'm not going to do this with, a, with one hand. I'm just going to try and pry this open. That little split there to free that from this end of the pipe. And then hopefully pull it all out. And here I have that end now, freed from the pipe. So this should just slide off. Yes, and that gives me the pipe now uh, to connect to the new air spring. I'm going to have a little look up in there. And I might give that a little clean out before I uh, put the new one in. If you can actually see anything. Um, that is the mounting hole that uh, those spring, those air spring clips go into. It is just a little quarter turn fitting type thing. Ah, I'll show you the bottom as well because in the bottom there is this notch which has to line up with a notch on the bottom of the uh, air spring. So there is the little tab that goes in that notch at the suspension arm and the top fittings with their pathetic little clips looking at them which is supposed to hold it all in place <coughs> so let's try and get this fitted again I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with one hand I'll try and set the camera up to give you something right, so there's the top lens You need to line, if you can see, them tabs up with the holes. feel that the pointed part is pointing forwards on the lower part of the spring which I can't actually pull down but I can show you how these should now fit because that should just Slide in, push, and then be in. Oh. So, I have popped the wheel back on, and I'm going to slowly turn the jack down, and then keep checking under here and line up as a centre pin with the hole in there as it comes down um, I could have done this with my Lexia software on my computer because you can pump up individual wheels but I appreciate not everybody has that and equally my computer is now since I turned it on updating windows and it's going to take hours and hours so I'm not waiting that long I'm just going to uh, try and cheat so let's see how far this comes down it's going to go all squashy and flat and then uh, see if we can use the car compressor to pump it back up right. yeah, the car is pretty much down I can feel that that is in its little groove so I'm just going to slowly finish it off. Right, 
It's still not quite the way. But, oh, can I get in? You can feel and hear that that is rattling around in uh, the slot that it's supposed to be. And the car is now all the way down on its bump stops. Uh, the airbag is set in position. I can't really get in with the phone and an arm to show you that. So now I'm just going to start the car off. Make sure not to sit on my glasses. will allow me to adjust the air suspension let all the air out of both sides which it says it's done then pump up and hopefully we'll see the car now going up We'll go to its highest setting. In fact, while I do this, da, 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 I will pop it on here. And then hopefully show you the car going off. And there we have that. Spin it back down to its normal position. I'm not going to put it down to its normal position. In fact, I will for the video. Yeah, and that is the normal ride height. I'm now going to do exactly the same with the side. I'll skip a few steps and just get down to the uh, the air spin replacements again. Now, despite this being a more conventional fitting for this air pipe, it might still be difficult to do with one hand because you need to. In fact, I can't even see on the screwdriver. Is not there? Push this ring in, and that will let you pull the pipe out. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, um, but I'll try and show you on the replacement damper or airbag um, doing it. Uh, and you will also notice some lovely purple gloves because my neighbour has kindly given me some gloves to keep my hands a bit warmer. Now, uh, the right hand airbag has definitely been replaced, that is not a conventional fitting uh, for these. Uh, this is more like what uh, you will have on your car, I expect, if it has standard suspension. Uh, I've circled where the airline goes in and the little valve which it clips into. Uh, right here, uh, I have arrowed the airline, uh, and you do need to be quite careful on the ends of these because they are just a small plastic tube. And if you wiggle them left and right, up and down, effectively, um, you can snap them, which will be bad news. Uh, and here I have a red arrow pointing to the 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 valve that encompasses the tube that goes into the airbag, which you need to push inwards towards the airbag itself it moves about a millimeter but that is all that is needed to retain the pipe in position 
pattern here. I've circled here, it's just going all the way around the tube. Uh, doesn't take much, I actually managed to do it just with my fingers on this side, pushing the whole thing in and then sliding the pipe out. It's much, much simpler that one. And you'll see this has now come off just as it should. So uh, the damper on the other side, or the airbag on the other side, it's not the damper, um, this is the damper. Uh, this is just effectively the replacement for the spring, air spring. Uh, but yeah, the one on the other side has clearly been replaced at some point. So it's going to be the same, just trying out the air out. Oh. Detach the bottom. Finger in the way now. That's a twist. And it should come out. And there you have one with both takes still intact. But I might as well replace them both while I'm here. Now I'll try and show you the conventional fitting that these come with. Um, when the airline is in this hole and it's under pressure and um, this little mushroom thing here oh, uh, is pressurized and pushes out which locks the pipe in position and all you have to do is put some pressure on it to push it in and that then allows you to pull the air pipe out it's a small movement I know um, but it is literally that is all you need to do that is securing the airline and that allows you to release it so once you've pushed it in you can just pull on the air pipe and it will uh, it will come out and there we have this side done honestly the longest part of it was jacking it up and taking the wheels off and putting them back on um, Yeah, as, as you saw, once you've got it up uh, in the air, it's nothing to take the air spring out, you know, just release the airline, it'll then just twist out, pop a new one in, and away you go. Um, definitely something you can all do at home, so if you're having air suspension uh, faults, and you realise it's a bag that is leaking, which is one of the most common things. Do it as soon as you can. Because the biggest problem people have with this is they have a leak in the air suspension. Um, the compressor then starts running more and more. Um, particularly if it's running while you're driving just to keep air in the bag. The compressor will burn out and that's a much more expensive fix. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Do stay safe. Take care. Peace, everybody.